Welcome everybody to the channel. There's no need. This is a new segment that's called Sound the Alarm. Yes. And my Beyonce's voice, ring the alarm. Hell, tear down the alarm. All right. We got to get this story out because it's hot. Ooh, it's, I need to drop it like it's hot. I don't know who wrote the story. It's coming from um, Radar Online. And they're giving us a title article as leaks meaning NeNe Leaks is causing more drama for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Honey, she is getting ready to confront Kenya Moore about her extra, extra, uh, estranged uh, husband and the so-called allegedly affairs he's having behind her back, in front of her, on the side, on the, oh, just everywhere, honey. Team Twirl, come on in and get this joker. All right, because he is foul. He's sounding pretty foul from this article that just came across my feed. But we're going to go on and get into it because that's the new segment I got. When I really want to break a story, I don't want to say no pleasantries. I won't say nothing. So let's get to it. Okay. It says Real Housewives of Atlanta co stars believe more is lying about her ex uh, or soon to be ex. Uh, Mark's infidelity. Okay, they trying to say Kenya lying. That man ain't cheated on Kenya. Kenya just ready to get out of a situation. Okay, now y'all know who I, how I feel about it, so I ain't even gonna go into the drama and trying to uh, appease you all with my commentary on what I feel. Okay, they said many radio online saying when season twelve pop off, the drama is coming to Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, that is. Those streets going to be blazing, all right? Explosions popping up everywhere because Nene is finna get her hands, not literally, figuratively, around Kenya, and she ain't letting go until she shakes some sense out of her that's making sense of this whole ordeal or is Kenya married? Is Kenya going to get a divorce? Is Kenya having infidelity? Is she faking the story? You know, all these little things going through Nene's mind. And she says she needs results. She needs the truth. Okay? Now, I don't know. Hell, when we try to figure out what Nene messed with the white man up in New York, when she called herself separating or giving space to Greg, hell, was she cheating then? I don't know. Then they had somebody that was having her treat with in uh, season 10 or 11. She was, no, I think it was 10. She was messing with a... Um, uh, a man, a younger man, at some uh, horses. Uh, we call it an equest. We call it a equestrian, equestrian. Yeah, equestrian type of uh, derby. They was going out. Maybe it was in Kentucky. Hell, I don't know. Cause y'all don't. I don't just keep up with the feeds that come across my social media on my phone. I can't keep up with that nest too much. All right. I just talk about stories that interest me. All right. So here we go. It says, Nene Leakes and her Real Housewives co-stars plan to confront Kenya Moore on camera about her husband's affairs. RadioOnline.com exclusively learned. All right. Somebody had been uh, dropping tea. They're getting paid for stores. They ain't going around here just telling, just telling. Like they said, snitches get stitches, y'all. Snitches get stitches. And again, the golden rule is... If you don't want nothing told, don't tell nobody but the Lord because he see all, know all. He know what you finna do prior to you even getting ready to do it. Don't tell your best friend. Don't tell. If you're going to do a crime or anything, keep it to yourself. Do it by yourself, okay? And let the cookies fall where they may. Uh, we go back to the story. It says, Kenya and Mark Daly split after just two years of marriage. U.S. Weekly reported that he had multiple affairs while they were together. Now, okay, y'all know Ma issued that warning to all bloggers, all social media, all magazine uh, entities of advertisement, of entertainment, salacious, salacious stories out there to put them out there for everybody to uh, get their feel on that he going to be, you know, doing some bad things to us. But I'm like, Ma, if somebody done snitched over in your camp, Providing evidence such as something in black and white, pictures in color, 
ain't too much you can do but surrender and just take the fall, brother. Take the fall. Go on. It's a loss. Let Kenya have whatever she want to have. She probably want her money back on this fake marriage y'all had. So she's going to get it back on the back end. You know what I'm saying? But then if it is true that you have been, you know, allegedly cheating on her, then she's going to get it from the front, side, back, it, underneath you, it just... It, underneath you and everything okay it's just gonna be a bad look for you but i'm like just throw up your hands put out the white flag and just go on into the sunset okay because mm -mm, don't look good for you honey if somebody's dropping tea on you and you know you did it oh you should have covered your bases and paid them people off but better yet then don't even do nothing with nobody okay unless you have told kenya look we separate because i don't like how you treat me and y'all bets are off i'm gonna sleep with who i want to i don't care what you do it's just gonna be an open marriage right now because i can't say i am going to definitely be faithful that's what you should have said and then you could say me and kenya had a conversation we had an understanding or at least hell i had when i told her the truth but i didn't went on did what i had to do and then let kenya decide what she want to do but getting back to the article, it said um, uh, Nene. It's going to be Nene in the mix. It's going to be Eva Marcel, Marlo Hampton. Because all of them don't believe King's a story. You know, Marlo and King always had, <laughs> you know, a side partnership. Had it with each other for a couple of months. Then back, you know, she going back to Nene, meaning Marlo. Because she don't trust Kenya and the rest of the crew. And she knows she can at least get her feel with Nene because Nene always going to be supporting her and keeping her a friend on the show. So everybody's really done turned their backs on Kenya. They're like, uh-uh, we don't believe, it. we don't believe anything you're saying. Now, I'm trying to be interesting. I'm going to be devil's advocate. What do Ken and Cynthia say about this situation? Well, forget Cynthia because we know she just goes from win to win. She just want to be that neutral person on the fence. She don't want to say yes. She don't want to say no. She just want to stay straight there in the middle. Sometimes the middle is good. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes you just got to let shit play out in front of you so you don't have egg on your face. But sometimes you have to get off that fence and you have to choose a side. Okay, yay or nay. Yay or nay. It's not that hard. But right now, Cynthia's riding that fence. She's been riding for the last six seasons. So, or was it 12 seasons? Hell, see, I don't really even know. Don't really care. Just whatever season we on at the time, which will be season 12. So, Cynthia's been around for a long time playing a fool. But it just is what it is. Okay, we're going to give her that. But, um... Uh, yeah, it says Nene, Eva, Marlo, Hampton don't believe that Kenya is telling the truth about the affairs. The source spilled, claiming Kenya has never mentioned cheating before they split up. Okay, they haven't said anything to her while filming yet, the source said, but they're waiting for the right time to bring it up to her. Hey, that's some shit. Now, that's a devil right there. A devil to come in now in your camp, snitch on you, and then you got people surrounded waiting to pounce on you, okay? Unexpectedly. You be thinking you finna film this one set. They come out the blue and and, 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 and tear you down with something else. You be like, well, damn, okay, well, where that come from, you know? And then they can get that live reaction that they looking for. So Kenya, girl, and it's probably already been filmed. We just getting the, you know, the side of it or whatnot because it's supposed to be, well, they might be kind of filming still because it's not due until, what, November 3rd, I believe is when they come out with season 12. So, girl, you better watch your back, Kenya, because you ain't got no friends in the camp over there. I ain't heard Ken's name come up, so that might be the only ally you have at this time because you can't count on Cynthia. Like I said, she straddled that fence like she riding a horse all day long, okay? She ain't coming off that fence. She like to play the safety safety zone. That's why I can't say what's going to happen to her when it comes to her really seeing if she can mess up really with Mike Hill. Okay, I just see another uh, flat line. Another TKO. She's going to be lost in the sauce and again, she's going to probably be paying Mike for it's over with. All right, but that's not, we're not talking about Cynthia. We gonna, I'm just, I'm straying off the subject right now. Let me bring myself back. Okay, it says um the source claims to U.S. Weekly, Mark has had multiple affairs on Kenya. She walked away from her career for him, and he had no problem with that and no problem disrespecting her. But see, that's what I'm saying for people that we trying to say, if this is true, because we don't know. I'm just reporting like the bigger uh, YouTubers and the bigger 
uh, magazine uh, rags that are out there, child. Like I say, y'all go to the grocery store, y'all go to the convenience store, y'all pick it up, y'all read it. Like, okay, it's an arc I want to read. You pay that $4.99, $6.99, $7.99 or whatever. And hell, I give it to you free. So come on over here to me before you go out there and purchase something. Because nine times out of ten, if you're looking for some housewives news, you got it from Debs and Nails 48 Sports. So go on and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and get them notifications ringing, ringing, ringing every time you know something happened out in them streets with the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. I'm going to bring it to you quick, fast, in a hurry. Wherever I am that has a connection to a phone or to my computer. Okay, but right now we're just dealing with my computer. All right, until I can get on live with my camera. Well, no problem, not my camera. I'm going to get a new computer and I'm going to give me a microphone. Y'all ain't going to be able to touch me then, boy. I'm going to be just up there just like a reporter, up in your face, live and in color. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it says um, Kenya 48, Mark 49, welcome their daughter, Brooklyn. Uh, daily in 2018 after a blowout fight while family they announced their divorce. Great all readers know how their breakup fight ended and went down on the 17th. Okay, and again, it just read uh, what do you call it, hashing old stuff that's been played out there, don't talked about, and it's a dead issue. We know Kenya kind of got aggressive uh, at this little um event Mark was having and Kenya was hosting with him. And it just turned out to be a big old fight. Bravo uh, producers and his uh, cameraman caught it on deck. The whole uh, blow up. Hopefully they'll show it to us. It's probably the last episode of season 12 when they show it to us coming across that reunion time. But who cares? We'll get it and we'll digest it then. Uh, but going back to the August said the insider told Radar why she was so angry at her husband. She was just spewing out different things. Um and then, of course, Mark had mentioned something to Mark, uh, even Marcel's husband, like he was going to hold water, okay? Saying he, he didn't like Kenya shit. He didn't like how he was being treated by her and this, that, and third. But then again, what did you do, Mark? All right, because it's always two personalities and two situations you got to look at in one situation. You know, was it you? Don't put everything on Miss Kenya because we know Kenya can roll and she can hit below the bill. But sometimes she has to be aggravated or somebody done poked her, okay? And then she just reacts. And when she does react, Lord, it's just like a wild tornado done went wild, okay? It done tore up everything under the sun that the Lord has made, okay? That's how Kenya get down. But we've learned to respect her and we let her go when she has time to you know, defend herself. But when she do some mess that she knows she ain't have no business getting into, then that's when me, Deb Schneer, had to come in and call her spade. You know, she should have played her hand and just let it just fold. So sometimes you got to know when to hold. Sometimes you got to know when to fold. And sometimes you get lost up there because she want more camera time and she just go haywire. And then that's when I come in and ring her back in and tell her where she went wrong. Okay. Because everybody got to play their part. Everybody is on the team. And we put special people out there to do special things, okay? But when Kenya feel like she ain't had that much camera time, she got to go and overstep her boundaries. And see, that's why, I went, that's why I am when I come back and ring her back in. Because we need somebody else to be out there doing it. We gave the ball to somebody else. We didn't tell Kenya to come off the uh, bench and come to the court and make a, a, a layup. We didn't ask her for that, okay? We wanted her to play her part. She wasn't in that play of the scene, and she just took it and went with it. So, okay. But going back uh, to the article, it said, uh, it's just broken marriages. Some of my mom just didn't want to be on TV, you know, crying like a little baby and all that. We didn't want to hear that mess. Then, you know, we had the situation where another subtitle they had where they said Kenya, I mean, a kiss and make up where Nene and Kenya had a bad relationship for a while, but they made up at the beginning of the film in season 12, but it's going to be a hot mess towards the end and the middle, okay? And then they have a subtitle that says Detective Leaks. It says, now Nene doesn't really believe Kenya, and she plans to find out what is really going on, the source told Radar, okay? Kenya's ending. It is, with, okay, we don't want to hear about that because she's talking about saying goodbye to Ma. We don't know if it's really true. Some people saying they've seen her still wearing her uh, marriage ring like she's in it to win it. And, um, hell, I don't know if anybody's been following Ma trying to catch his hand, see if he still got his on. 
But I'm like, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you make it make sense? I know if you're getting a divorce or you're not. Don't play that mess like Wendy Williams over there trying to hold the story till it came to a big old eruption. And then she's like, okay, because I ain't still believing that because this is the longest ass divorce I've seen that play between black people. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that much out there, okay? You already paying him to be relocated and moved and okay what's going on what's what's keeping the uh the thing to be signed sealed and delivered okay let's see that's wendy williams over there i don't got time for too much okay she hurts my brain the little that i do have okay in the ending of this um uh, story with radar online and the whole episode of nene playing this detective running around now and gonna find out the truth the truth the real truth not kenya's truth but the truth the truth of how she sees it okay uh, it gave us another subtitle saying it's over. Kenya cheerfully said on the Real Housewives of season 12 trailer, we're in a very low place. Da 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 da. So we just still don't know what's going on, but I just thought it was a tickle. It just tickled me paint when I was hearing that Nene was trying to get her counterparts up to go against Kenya Moore and test the lie that she feels is a lie that Mark cheated on her. <laughs> I'm like, good lord. Why can't this thing start in September? Okay, because I'm getting answered. I want to see Kenya and Nene go at it for real. Okay, not where they physically have an altercation, where they getting hands on each other, but just verbally, just verbally, y'all. But that's all I have for this video. That was called Sound the Alarm. It's a cold red up in here. Everybody come to the table so I can spit this tea out. Okay? That means no pleasantries, no, you know, subscribing and all that. It's just like, come sit down now. Let me bring you the tea. Okay? So, look out for those coming because I'm sure they're going to have more salacious stories for me to get on to. And I'm just going to come uh, saying, sound the alarm, sound the alarm. Come on in, honey. Ring the bell. We need everybody in position. Because this shit is going down and I want y'all to know about it, okay? So that's the sound alarm type of episode I'll be bringing from here to there to get it just straight to the point. But y'all be blessed. I'll see y'all next time for another, you know, salacious stories on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Whether it's Candy, whether it's Cynthia, Portia, Nene, and our beloved Kenya. Eva don't really do too much for me. She's there. You know, I'm just putting her in the back of uh, Cynthia because... You know, hell, I would have just rather have had Shamari still be here. Shamari DeVoe, that is, versus seeing Eva. But it just is what it is. They play their part. They're here. I'm here. So why don't we just sound off on each other? All right. Y'all be blessed. I'll see y'all next video. Peace.